Google has just released something that makes building retrieval systems so simple that the entire game just changed. I am talking about RAG, retrieval augmented generation. And if you're running any kind of business right now, you need to pay attention to this because what used to take your team weeks of engineering work and thousands of dollars in infrastructure costs can now be done with a few lines of code. Let me show you exactly what just happened and why this matters for your business. Look, I've been in the AI space for about two years now, and I've helped over 30 businesses implement AI automation systems. And one of the biggest bottlenecks I consistently see is this. Companies, they need AI to understand their specific data, their documents, their processes, but building a system that can actually do this it's been an absolute nightmare because Google's new Gemini file search tool just turned that entire engineering headache into a single API call. And if you're running any kind of business that deals with documents or any customer data or any internal knowledge bases, you need to understand what just changed. So here's the thing that nobody is talking about. Large language models like ChatGPT or even Claude, they are incredible. They can write, they can code, they can even explain complex concepts but they have one massive blind spot. They do not know everything about your world. So your company's internal documents, your customer's data, your project notes, your SOPs, none of it. There is zero visibility. And yes, you can implement memories into the LLM and even set up projects and feed it some files, but for many reasons, it's definitely not the best form of using RAG. And for anyone building AI solutions for businesses, this has been the biggest challenge. How do you get AI to actually understand specific private information? Well, a traditional solution, it's called RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. But here's what most people do not realize is that building RAG from scratch, it is a multi-stage engineering nightmare that requires you to set up vector databases and manage embeddings and even build retrieval systems and just maintain all of that infrastructure. So what you're looking at is days if you're technical and weeks of development time if you're not with ongoing maintenance costs and a ton of technical complexity. Now, most businesses that want to implement AI solutions, they end up hitting this wall. They realize that their AI needs to understand their specific documents and all of their data. And suddenly they're looking at a massive technical project that requires specialized developers and expensive infrastructure and ultimately just months of work just to get something basic up and running. And even after you build it, you have to maintain it, you have to scale it and keep it running. It's a nightmare that has kept powerful AI capabilities out of reach for most companies. So let me show you what Google just released and why this is such a big deal. So Google's Gemini API, they just released the file search tool. And what this does is give you fully managed RAG at a scale and a price point that is absolutely disruptive. So let me show you what I mean exactly. So here's just a sample implementation that demonstrates exactly how it works. So here's what happens when you upload a document. So in this case, this is just a car manual for a Hyundai i10. The moment that you hit upload, the system automatically does semantic chunking, breaking down the document into a meaningful paragraph or paragraphs. And then it is going to do some document embedding, converting all that text into just numerical vectors. And then it's going to be doing some vector indexing, organizing everything into searchable maps. And then it is going to do some layered retrieval. So all of these steps that would normally take you days or even weeks just to set up. So they're all happening automatically just within seconds. And here's the crazy part about about this is that you do not need to build a RAG system. You don't need to set up a vector database. You don't need to configure any of this infrastructure because Gemini API, it is doing all of it for you. And now you can ask questions like, where can I find information about troubleshooting a common error? And then it is going to search through the document, pull the relevant information and give you a response with proper citations showing exactly where it found the answer, just like a professional RAG system would, except you do not have to build any of it. And this isn't just working with one type of file. I mean, we're talking about PDFs or Word documents, text files, JSON, even common programming language files. And beyond that, you can build a comprehensive knowledge base just using whatever file formats that your business actually uses. 
and it all just works. Before we continue, I quickly just wanted to mention that I am sharing the complete breakdown of this technology, including the code examples and the implementation guides in my free school community. So we now have over 15,000 entrepreneurs and business owners in there just learning how to actually implement AI in their businesses or run their own AI business. Link will be down below in the description. Again, it's completely free, but let's get back into the video. So now let me just break down why this is so revolutionary. So first for that to happen, you need to understand what building rag the old way actually had looked like. So the traditional rag process, it had three different steps, retrieve, augment, and generate. It sounds pretty simple, right? It's not. So here's what you actually had to do. So first you actually had to source and chunk everything. So you had to break down your documents into perfectly sized chunks, too big and you lose relevance, too small and you lose context. And this alone, it requires just careful tuning and testing to actually get right. Second, is creating embeddings. So you had to use just a separate model to convert those chunks into numerical representations. So this means managing another AI model, paying for those API calls and coordinating everything. Third, managing a vector database. So you previously had to set up, manage and pay for specialized database like Pinecone or Weaviate just to store and search all of those embeddings. And these databases, they are powerful, but they are complex to set up and expensive to run at scale. Fourth is building retrieval and ranking systems to actually find and prioritize the most relevant information. So you need to write code that searches the database and then ranks the results by relevance and then feeds the right context back into your language model. Now, each one of these steps it is a pretty big engineering project. So it's a huge barrier that kept this powerful technology out of the hands of most developers, well, maybe not developers, but definitely businesses and business owners, especially. And even if you got it all working, you still had to maintain it, monitor it, and just optimize it and pay for that infrastructure every single month. And this is why most companies that wanted AI to understand their documents either just gave up or paid tens of thousands of dollars to agencies to build it for them just like they have done for us. So here is how the file search actually works behind the scenes. So it is broken down into just two key phases. So first up, there is going to be the offline indexing process. So this is where the heavy lifting actually happens. So when you upload a file, it's not just stored somewhere. So file search, it uses semantic search, which means it actually understands the meaning of your text, not just keyword matching. So think about the difference. Traditional search, it looks for exact words. In semantic search, it understands that like car won't start and vehicle ignition problems are talking about the same thing. And that is the power here is the system. It automatically breaks down your documents into chunks and then converts them into embeddings just using their state of the art Gemini embedding model. And also it stores them into a specialized database that file search manages all for you. So this entire flow from documents to embeddings to database, it is a one time indexing step that happens all automatically. So you do not have to configure any of it at all. You do not have to tune any parameters. It just works for you. And then there is going to be the real time querying process. So when a user asks a question, Gemini, it is first deciding if the external knowledge would be helpful. If not, it generates an answer from its training. But if the answer is in your files, it takes the yes path. So the model, it just generates optimized search queries and turns those queries into embeddings. And then it searches the database for the most relevant chunks of text, and then just feeds that context back to the final model, which generates a precise grounded answer. And this entire sophisticated loop that you are seeing right here, it is completely managed for you by the Gemini API. So again, you do not have to touch any of it. And here is what is super powerful is that it is also doing some parallel queries. So it's searching across multiple different documents simultaneously and combining results in under just two seconds. So one of the early access developers, a company called Beam that actually builds AI game generation platforms, it is running thousands of searches daily across over 3000 files and file search. It is handling all of that seamlessly. And here's what makes it actually game changing is look at how simple the code actually is. It's really just three steps. So first you create a file stored with one API call. Second, you upload and import your file into that file search. So this single API call kicks off the entire 
offline indexing process. So the chunking, the embedding, everything handled automatically. Third, you make a query. So the final call triggers the real-time querying process and you just point the model to your store and it is able to generate the answer for you. That is it. So from a mountain of complex engineering to just a few lines of code and all the chunking and configuration, it's all automatically handled for you by all of these tools. So again, you do not have to worry about any of it. Plus, it does citations out of the box. So once you upload all of your files, it automatically provides citations just like you would expect from a professional reg system. So every response, it includes references to which parts of your documents were used to generate the answer. Now, this is critical for business applications where you need to verify information and maintain trust. But again, this is automatically done for you. You're not writing code to track citations. You're not even building the systems to reference any source documents. It's all built in. And by the way, if you're a business owner looking to have us implement this for you, or just generally looking to transform your business with AI to ultimately increase your bottom line and save your team hours every single week and actually grow and get an edge over your competitors, then you can check out the link down below in the description to just schedule in a call with our team to learn more. And we have worked with more than 30 different businesses, either driving significant amounts of leverage for them or just increasing their revenue and allowing them to scale efficiently. So if you're at all interested in growing your company, then again, link will be down below in the description. It's a completely free call. But with that being said, let's just jump back into things. Now, let me just talk about the three biggest breakthroughs that this actually enables for your business. So number one, this is going to be speed of development. Because this is accessible through a simple API, you can go from ideas to working prototype in hours instead of weeks. So we're talking about a 10x reduction in development time for RAG-based applications. And what used to require a team of developers working for weeks can now be done by a single person in an afternoon. And that is not an exaggeration. That is the reality of what just changed. Number two is the cost barrier. So this is pretty much just completely demolished. And this is the critical one that you need to hear. So listen to these pricing models. The data storage, it's completely free. Creating embeddings at query time, it's also free. You only pay for indexing your files when you first upload them. And that is 15 cents per 1 million tokens. So to put that into perspective, most documents will cost you pennies to index. A typical business document, this might be a few thousand tokens. So you can index hundreds of documents for literally less than a dollar. After that initial indexing, you just pay the standard Gemini rates for the actual generation when someone asks a question to the system. So when you compare that to running your own vector database where you are paying monthly hosting fees, managing your own embedding models with you know per query costs and maintaining all that infrastructure, you're looking at potentially hundreds of dollars per month in just infrastructure costs alone. Now, with file search, you could be running a full rag system for less than the cost of, I would say, a morning coffee. Now, the cost savings here, obviously, they're absolutely massive. This pricing model, it literally changes who can afford to build these types of systems. Now, number three is you do not have to sacrifice power for simplicity. You still are getting support for the dozens of file types out of box. So PDFs, DOCX, TXT, JSON, even common programming language files. You still get the same quality of results with their state-of-the-art Gemini embedding model. You still get all of the built-in citations and verification you're just not managing any of the complexity. And here's the important thing about this is that you're getting enterprise grade RAG capabilities without enterprise grade complexity or cost. Now really quick, let me just give you what this actually means for your business. So for years, the power to build AI that truly understands your private data, it was locked behind this huge wall of complexity and cost. And that wall, it just came down. And here's what you need to understand is that this isn't just about making things easier for developers. This is about democratizing access to powerful AI capabilities that can transform how your business actually operates. So think about your customer support team spending hours searching through documentation just to answer questions. Now with file search, you can build a system where they ask a question in natural language and they can instantly get the answer with just citations to your exact documentation. Or maybe even think about your sales team manually digging through past proposals and contracts to find pricing information or terms that you have offered similar clients. So instead, you can build a system where they query your entire contact database in seconds. Or think about your operations team trying to extract insights from hundreds of different internal documents, SOPs, and process guides. Instead, 
you can now build an internal knowledge assistant that actually understands your specific processes and can answer any questions all instantaneously. And you do not need a team of engineers to make it happen. You just need somebody who can actually understand your specific processes and knows how to actually just connect the dots with the tools like this. And this is quite literally exactly what I have been saying for months. The technical barrier to AI implementation, it's collapsing. The value is not in knowing how to build these systems from scratch anymore. The value, it's quite literally in knowing which problems to solve and how to integrate these solutions into real business workflows. And the companies that are going to be winning in the next 12 to 24 months, they are not the ones with the biggest AI teams. They are the ones that understand their business problems well enough to know where it's to apply these tools for maximum impact. And now that the technical complexity is handled for you, the only question is, do you understand your business well enough to know where the bottlenecks or the pain points actually are. So if you got this far, just drop a comment below and let me know what you are planning to build with technology. I'm actually genuinely interested to hear what applications you guys are thinking about. And if you guys did find value in this breakdown, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss the videos where I'm going to be covering more AI tools, systems, frameworks that are actually transforming businesses right now. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.